let us configure a virtual host in our jam server so before we can continue with our virtual host configuration we need to change some setup so let me go to command prompt and do ip config over here and we can see we have ip of 192.168.247.147 so we need to change this one so let me go to open network and internet settings over here and let's go to change adapter property and here i will say change the property right click and go to property and i will select internet version the internet protocol version 4 which is ipp4 and just double click on it and i will set a uh, use the following ip so 192.168 the 247 the let's say we use 100 92.168 the 247 the 2 right so and use the google dns 8.8.8 and also 8.8.4.4 that should be good enough and click ok and ok and go here status and say check the detail over here and we can see we have IP of 100 so let's go and configure our virtual host now we have a fixed IP over here close everything and what we'll do is we'll go to our C drive and go to jam folder and inside the jam folder what we'll go is we need to go to Apache and we'll go to config and go to extra over here and we can see HTTP D dash V host. So let's open this one and let us create a new virtual host. And what I will do now, just copy this one and I will just uncomment everything from here. So let us uncomment everything first. Okay, we have uncomment everything, and the first thing we need to do is change the domain name. So it will be my my blog.com so this is how we can access our virtual host so my blog.com and let us copy this one and also for the log i will say as the same thing log file custom log file and also a server admin let's configure this one sorry so with master and here and for the root document so we need to point our root document to our document which is inside of c drive jamb and st doc st doc is the folder where we have to place all of our web our web our website file or a web, web, web application file so what we need to do is we need to create one folder inside this called uh, my blog or whatever you want to call it so we place all the file for our project over there so let's go and create folder over here and configure it you may be wondering why we are creating a virtual host over here then it's just let us say in a simple way that when if we create a virtual host over here we can add a multiple virtual host or we can say we can add a multiple domain over here and we can access over it so if we have a multiple project let's say we have another project and we say my blog or we can say insert demo.com or any whatever domain name you have we can configure a multiple domain name on a same server so that's why you are using virtual host so easy for us if we later configure more domain over here so let's go back to our Champ and let's go inside stdocs so inside the stdocs what we need to do is we need to create a new folder and call it as a my blog that's good enough let's call my blog and just copy this one and what we'll do is we have to point to this so stdoc c drive f f jam stdoc at my blog so this will be the root directory or a root document for our website so just save this one and here we have and we need to create some files over here first you know so let's go to our let's close all of this first and another thing we need to do is let's open notepad and configure run as administrator 
let's click yes and what we need to do is we need to open and we need to go to windows system 32 and go for drivers over here and etc inside this let's select all file and we can see a host file so it's in its location is windows system 32 drivers etc and the host file let's open this one and let us configure our IP address which we done 92.168.247.100 and that it should be point to my blog.com so whenever we access this IP it will go to this one or whenever this if we type my blog.com in our browser then it should point to here which is our IP address of our server so that's good enough my blog.com and just save this one save everything and what we need to do is we need to stop everything first and then start it back okay so we have started and let's go and test it go to google chrome or any other browser and we say my blog.com yeah that's working right it's going to our folder and we don't have anything inside the folder that's why it's saying that it's indexed up and we don't have anything inside so if you go over in my blog see we don't have anything and if you try to create a new file over here and let's see and we can see we have a new file over here so we need to configure this our web, uh, web, web hosting is ready now and we need to place the file to for our website so that's it for this video hope you guys had some understanding and hope if you have any question do let me know and i will see you in the next video till then have a great day